Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? How do they feel about you? Um, how do they view this connection? How are they viewing you at this time? We'll also look at their intentions towards you and what do they wish they could tell you. And let's jump right in for Aquarius. Let's see what we have got for you guys. Spirits and guys. What do we need to know for Aquarius regarding love? What do we need to know for Aquarius? What do we need to know for Aquarius regarding love? So what's going on for you? Three of Wands reverse. Two of Wands reverse. Ten of Wands. Yikes. Okay. Delays, delays, delays. But I feel like it's reaching some sort of end here um, with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands typically is someone who's been carrying a burden for a while, but they're almost at the finish line. They just have to make this one stop and then they can let all of these burdens go. Okay, so what's going to happen next here? Oh, Queen of Wands reverse. King of Coin reverse. Six of Cups reverse. Okay, overall energy. The Hermit reverse. Virgo energy. So I'm getting somebody that's like retreated um, with the Hermit. I feel like this is someone that's overwhelmed. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's your person. But someone here, Queen of Wands reverse, King of Coin reverse. This isn't like great great um, energy here. Uh, Queen of Wands reverse tends to be upset, um, seeks attention in the worst ways, tends to have a temper, doesn't really think things through. Um, they kind of do whatever they want and they don't really care about the consequences, the Queen of Wands reverse. And then the King of Coin reverse, they tend to... Um, not have anything to give. They're either unable to or are just prevented from giving to something. They don't have anything to offer. Um, they could make bad financial decisions, etc., etc. So let me start with the overall energy. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Why is the Hermit Reverse for Aquarius? Why? Now the Hermit reverse, you know, this, okay, the devil wanted to come out. Okay, the Hermit reverse tends to be somebody that has retreated a bit too much and also isn't listening to their inner voice or advice. They're kind of too closed off. Tell me about the Hermit reverse. King of Pentacles. So I think it's this King of Pentacles here. Maybe that's why they are not making the best decisions or are not able to, are not in a good place. I could be dealing with an earth sign here. Tell me about the hermit energy reverse. Why is the hermit reverse? Yeah, eight of swords. This is somebody that's fearful. Um, I feel like they're just not able to see a way out of their situation because they're too, I feel, wrapped up in what's going on. So they're stuck. I get one more for this Hermit Reverse. The Moon, yeah. Pisces Energy. This person has no idea what to do. Um, and also because they're not able to listen to their intuition, they're not able to um, listen to good advice, good counsel. I feel like they confuse themselves further. They are more prone to look at the surface of things rather than really dig deep into the root of the problem. I feel like this is someone that's really in their head and confused, fearful. But I'm trying to figure out why, you know, what happened. So let's look at this Three of Wands reverse. This is like delays, delays, delays. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? What's happening here? Page of Swords. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Three of Wands, yeah. Uh, so someone's waiting, hesitating. I'm getting here procrastinating. Watching rather than doing. Ten of Pentacles. 
Hmm. Why the Ten of Pentacles? So this is what they want. Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody that wants long-term success, long-term happiness, perhaps with a soulmate or a past person. This would be them getting their wish granted, but they're not doing anything about it or someone's waiting for this. Now, the Page of Swords, I feel like this is about talking. It's almost like someone's waiting to talk or waiting to have a conversation of some sort. Um, observing, again, so someone observing something from a distance rather than actually doing, doing it, you know? Tell me about this Three of Wands. What can you tell me about this Three of Wands? Yeah, Queen of Wands. So this is somebody that's waiting to make a move. Okay. Two of Wands reverse tends to be someone that has made a decision or seriously cannot make a just They cannot choose a path. They want to do both. So we'll see what this is about. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands again. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that's probably burdened because they have to make a decision what's this yeah so okay this is becoming like really specific but i mean the message is the message can i get one more for the two of wands reverse why is the two of wands reverse ace of swords okay yeah the strength card at the bottom of the deck leo energy i feel like this is somebody who they are burdened by the decision they need to make, but they have to make this decision in order to make a move. Like they can't have it both ways. They have to decide. And I feel like this decision is tied to clarity or communication. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, now I have these two here and then we were already talking about how there's like a lack of clarity for someone. Strength is at the bottom of the deck, which tells me that this is someone that perhaps needs to be strong enough to do this or have courage enough to do this. What's this Ace of Swords about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, King of Swords. So this is somebody that needs to speak up, be honest, communicate. So tell me about this Ten of Wands. What's the holdup? What What is this burden or obligation? What is this like difficulty? Hang on. Can I get one please for this Ten of Wands? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, hmm. The Empress. So I feel like this is somebody when I see the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, I, I feel like this is somebody who is very uh, optimistic, I guess I should say, about expressing themselves or is expressing their feelings about what they want. So it's not just somebody saying, I like you. It's somebody saying, I like you and I want this with you. Or... Um, their desire is to express themselves to their empress, right? Which I feel this might be you and unburdening themselves, right? Because I feel like this is somebody that needs to be honest about how they feel. And Libras, you've been having this common theme of someone that's like hiding their true feelings from you, um, sne being sneaky about how they feel or just not being open. And I feel like this is kind of a similar energy here. I feel like this is someone outside or outside of your life or not involved with you right now. So where's all of this headed? Why the Queen of Wands reverse? Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? This one. I just smelled like cologne or like perfume. It was very strong. Okay, Queen of Wands, Reverse, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. Again, 
this like internal thinking that's going on with no action. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords. What to do? So I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse is, is someone that's not taking action, not being bold, not going after what they want. Rather than like a personality trait, I feel like this is more someone that is not acting on something. Because the Queen of Wands reverse does not think about things this much. <laughs> You know, they just, they don't. They they rather do what they want to do, get it done, and then that's it. The King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. So once again, I feel like this is someone thinking about what they're going to do. But they're not really doing it yet. They're just thinking about it. What's the best option? So why is this King of Coin reverse? Why is the King of Swords, not King of Swords, King of Coin reverse. Tell me about this King of Coin reverse. Why is he reverse? Five of Wands, okay. Ace of Cups, oh, again. I feel like this is somebody battling their own feelings. I'm gonna take all of these. Six, yeah, Seven of Pentacles makes a lot of sense because this is someone that's so in their head that they're like talking themselves out of something, waiting around, thinking about, well, will this work out? I just don't know. I just don't know. You know, there's like this wishy-washiness almost. Six of Pentacles. Remember what I said about something not someone not being able to give? Um, and then the Eight of Wands. I feel like this is somebody that right now they can't give you anything because they're not willing to see it through. So for example, if this is somebody that knows that they have to come clean about something or they have to admit their feelings to you, they would have to give something of themselves, right? Be vulnerable. Risk, take a risk. They need to be able to do that in order to, I guess, set things in motion or take the action necessary, etc., etc., etc. You know, it's almost like this is someone who's talking themselves out of doing something that they know is the only way it can be done. So it's it's almost like someone that maybe you haven't been talking to this person or there's been some distance between you where you're not communicating, right? And for this person to tell you something, they would have to actually pick up the phone and send you a text. It's not going to send itself. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's only one way to communicate. You know, you pick up the phone or you go in person and then you talk. That's that's the only way. Or you or you write something down. That's the only way. I feel like this person thinks that this is going to be like it's going to end up in a fight or there's maybe a fight that happened between you, something like that. And so that's where their doubts come in. And I think they go back and forth about telling you something or, or talking to you. This is somebody that's stuck in the past. Six of Cups reverse. Something here is like stuck in the past. It, it, I feel like there's no closure with the past. Excuse me. I normally don't get that with the Six of Cups um, reverse. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck if you were curious. But that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting almost like someone that the past is still something they think about and something that's relevant here. Excuse me. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Yeah. Can I get one more for the Six of Cups reverse? Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the goal is clear. Making some sort of an offer, taking initiative, starting something. Um, it's very interesting to me that whatever this is, it could very well be an apology. Whatever this is that this person has to tell you, or that this person wants to begin with you, it's going to start off small. I'm not sure why the Seven of Swords is here. Again, I get something very secretive, someone that's, you know, not really doing things the right way. Why is the Seven of Swords here? It could be that this person's kind of like hiding in the shadows and hoping that that's enough or like sending little signals here and there. Maybe, maybe you know, it's like I want to tell this person that speaking telepathically is not the same thing as speaking to someone, you know. 
Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's this about? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the High Priestess. So this is like someone working in secret. Once again, making an effort in secret. That's not enough. This isn't enough. And it's kind of weird because Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles are very small offers very small steps being taken and i feel like this person can't even do those in the open and now i'm starting to wonder if there's some other reason why someone is not able to tell you the truth about how they feel is there someone else involved did things end between you so badly that now it's almost impossible to face you or impossible to open the lines of communication have you blocked this person completely something else is here that i'm missing you know Take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is someone that they, they, whatever is going on with the Hermit Reverse, this is the overall energy. They're not doing things the right way. They're, they're, they're keeping themselves stuck in a cycle, an endless cycle that only they can get themselves out of. So that's what I have for you, Leap, uh, Aquarius. I was going to say Libra. Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you got something out of this reading. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.